Hello everybody, Nick from Airsoft Press here, and today I have a very special review for you guys today. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the LCT AKMS. Um, this is my very first AK, and the fact that it's an LCT just makes it, like, all the better. There's so many things I like about it, there's a lot of things to talk about it, so rather just than just sit here, um, let's get right into the review, shall we? And also, as a quick disclaimer, no, I did not get this new. I got this, um, it wasn't brand new, that's why I'm not doing an unboxing, it's more of a review. But I got this, um, secondhand by a friend, and, like, I'm pretty sure he said it was essentially, like, almost unused, like, took it out for one game, and then never used it again. So, with that out of the way, let's get right into the, to the review. Alright, so, we are going to start, um, tip the butt on this AK. Right here, you have a metal flash hider. When you get the gun new, it will come with an orange flash hider. Mo looks a uh, like the orange um, M4 birdcage style flash hider that looks super ugly on it. However, the gun does come with uh, a the metal AK flash hider, the one that's more standard to the AK platform, at least the AKM specifically. And this gun runs on 14 millimeter negative threads. That's what it's threaded for. Meaning, I could take my Bifrost and just thread it right on with no problem whatsoever. And actually, it does look kind of cool. It reminds me a lot of the uh, um, the new AK, the AK-74 and AK-12 like muzzle brake, which is it's pretty dope. I will say though, there's okay so. Like I said before, I did I didn't get this gun new. Normally, on the uh, front of the uh, front sight post, there's going to be like a little pin right there that is meant to lock the flash hider in place. Unfortunately, it's not here, so it's gonna look wonky every time I try to put it back on. Normally, it should look like that sort of but because i don't have that locking thing it it's kind of lopsided but that's just a personal nitpick it really doesn't matter um the entire construction of this ak is it's just solid the pretty much anything metal you see on here is made of steel the wood is real wood there's almost no wobble like that bit right there, that's just the sling loop right here. That's moving, I just hold it down. Almost no wobble whatsoever. It is a very, very solid AK. Now with that being said, LCT AKs, or just LCTs in general, are known for being extremely stiff right out of the box. Um, when I first got it, it was like, it was pretty much new. Like the guy only took it out for like one game and decided, hey, I'm probably not gonna use it anymore, so I'm just gonna sell it. And um, when I got my hands on it, the uh, stock here was extremely stiff. The fire selector was extremely stiff. Like on safe, it felt like it was welded to the gun. But over time, it got so much better. So to uh, put stock down, there's gonna be a button on this side here. I'm gonna push that down. Uh, find my window. There we go. Gotta hold it right. You put that down and then just swing it all the way out. And then this part's still a bit tight. You're supposed to bend this down like that. And then now, bada bing, bada boom, you got yourself a stock. And like I said before, the fire selector was extremely stiff. Like it felt like it was welded to the gun on safe. But now that I've uh, messed around with it a bit, it works perfectly fine um middle if you don't know uh like ak ergos or how the fire selection works up is safe like that middle like that is going to be your 
full auto, and then all the way down is going to be your semi-auto. And the pull the pull the charging handle back to get to your hop-up adjustment right there. Right now I have it turned off. This is a pretty standard um, hop-up for uh, AKs. You're just gonna take your finger in there, slide it to where it needs to be, and yeah. Um, you got your dust cover up here. This is where the battery is housed. So you're just gonna open that dust cover. And it is wired to Tamiya. I wish it was wired to Dean's, but I mean, Tamiya will work. I have a 7.4 light bulb right here, ready to go. I'm going to point this in a safe direction. Very, very snappy on semi. On, um, let's try auto. Very nice, very nice. And battery fitment here. The uh, gas tube or piston tube, whatever you want to call it up here is hollow. So you can fit the um, uh, cylindrical uh, stick type batteries in here. But these you can't as much because it's a little too wide. But as you can see from right here, it will fit fine. Just putting the dust cover back on is a bit of bit of a pain if you don't know like how to do it. It's a very tight uh, dust cover. Here we go. Now it's on. Should be good to go. Yep. Put your battery in, and like it's a very solid AK. I really like it a lot. Now that we moved on from the gun, we can talk a little bit more about the magazine. But this is an LCT. Um, 130 round mid cap. This is what you're going to get when, when if you get this gun new. And just like the gun, it is a uh, solid metal construction and it just fits very nicely. However, I have noticed there's a little bit of wobble and I mean, it'll feed, it'll function perfectly fine. However, it's, it can get kind of annoying after a bit. But uh, yeah, uh, enough talking about the gun. Let's go outside and uh, let's shoot it. All right, guys, we are outside right now. We have the LCT AK out with us right now. We also get set right down there. And I'm going to use this time to show you how to adjust your hop a little bit more and how to load your magazine. Now, like I said, it is a mid cap magazine, so there's no winding wheel and no door. Essentially what you're going to do is you're going to take a speed loader and you put it in the hole and start shoving it so full of BBs. This is a 130 round mid cap and yeah. all right we have the mag completely loaded and I'm going to show you how to adjust your hop a little bit more. So as I said before pull your charging handle back like that and you have your hop slider right there this is actually really annoying because like on the uh, GNG TR16 the uh, bolt stays open so you don't have to hold it back so I haven't had to do this in a while but you just stick your finger in there and you're going to slide that little piece forward or back depending on how much how much hop you want or how how less hop you want but uh yeah we're gonna take a few shots at that target i showed a little bit earlier and adjust the hop from there maybe we'll learn a little bit more about the gun so yeah let's get this done all right i am locked and loaded i'm gonna start on semi and for the record i am using 0.3 gram bbs so here we go This thing is pretty snappy, even though even if it's on like a 7.4, like it still feels really nice to shoot. One thing I am noticing is that this mag doesn't, uh, it's 
not feeding uh, properly. It's uh, it's skipping a BB every couple of hours. Like I don't know if you can hear the difference in sound. That's it. That's it. Dry firing. Like the mag isn't feeding properly. It's feeding. Oh, I'm out. I'm not out. But yeah, it's feeding, but sometimes it's not feeding. It's really weird. Let's try it on full auto before we run out of uh, babies in this mag. <laughs> Alright, um, there is a tree on the back. It's right there. I'm going to see if I can hit that tree and if I need uh, any pop-up adjustment. Actually, it's it's hopping a little high, so adjust that quick. Try that. Oh yeah, it's shooting much straighter now. I don't know if you can see the BBs, but I think you can definitely hear the impact on the tree. auto again and I believe I am out now yes I am out all in all this uh, AK is actually it's a lot of fun um, even if the mag didn't feed properly uh, especially when it was a little bit more full as it got a uh, little lower it got uh, it fed a lot better so that's, I guess, something to keep in mind. But uh, yeah, the construction feels really nice. It shot pretty nice. And with what, even just one adjustment from the hop, I think I moved it like halfway across. It was sending those BBs pretty straight towards that tree over there. But uh, yeah, I will leave a link in the description below if, or if you want to purchase this gun for yourself. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video.